we will. Alright, so I guess I got to make my squad now, and <laughs> this is how the game's gonna be for me. I'm gonna have Rex and Garrus. They're gonna be my squad mates for a big part of the game. Alright, so later, actually, can I talk to her? I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Can I get supplies for free since I saved her? Of course. No! God damn it, I can't get anything for free and everything is too expensive for me because I'm fucking poor. I might be Commander Shepard, but I'm poor as hell. Oh, I remember you, Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Um, uh, what is it? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on a coups when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Who investigations are linked? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. <laughs> I see, Commander. I apologize. I don't know. I think it was one of these. One of the game. It's like you could like punch the reporter. I don't know. If it was her or not? Cause I, I can't remember for the life of me. Yeah, I talked to the bartender. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations. Uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Huh. Enjoy your time. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Leave it to me. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before. Oot, oot, oot. Yeah. Get down with it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? What? No, I suppose. No problem. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. <laughs> Alright, that was random. Yeah, here it is. 
because that's a strip club right there. Oh boy, like strip down. club. Look out. Look out. Oh shit! Ah! We got to have a shootout in the strip club. Come on, Commander Shepard. There we go. God damn frame rate. <laughs> it's so terrible. I don't know how, you know, the game is awesome, but, you know, it has frame rate issues. Um. Shoot the bouncer, damn it. I use my metal gel. Is that guy down already? There we go. Some more guys over here. Oh god! There we go. Alright, we should be good. Get all that stuff. Who are you? Or you're a bad guy. Alright, he's killing these guys. Um. All targets down. Uh, oh! Jesus, I'm almost dead. You guys come over here, damn it. Hold the line. Go over there. Enemy is everywhere. The hell is that thing? The fence turret. Good to go. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> no, Garrus is dead. Or he's down. Gotta take this turret myself. Oh shit, I didn't even see there's another turret there. Go over there, damn it. Where the hell is he? Rally round. God damn it. Rex, there you are. Oh, that's Fizz. That's why he's taking so long to die. Go, go, go! Go. I'll take this turret with me. There we go. Wait, don't kill me, I surrender. Tell me where the quarrying is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> what are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. <laughs> yeah. He deserved it. I'll get to the Quarian and warn her before it's too late. Four minutes. Oh boy. Let's <laughs> take his stuff. Oh. Fuck. God damn it. I don't know how to do that shit. Serious crime in this arm of the ward. All right, let's go. Um, man. I will stay with this gun because that's, that's like the best gun I have to use in this game, the pistol. Alright, come on. Come on, men. Rally round. Let's kill all these guys over here. Shoot them. I have to do all, everything here. Oh, I got a trophy for it. I don't know what the hell that was for. Uh, there's one more guy over there. Hold the line. Come on, Rex, kill him. I have to do everything here. He's meta jail. Get that stuff. I don't know what the hell that was. Alright, let's go. We got <laughs> Warren the Tor. <laughs> the Quarian. Jesus, I don't know what the hell I was saying there. Alright, so we have to go this way. And the lower market, he said. I think that's where he said you need to go. Freaking locked. Where did I go? Here? This way? 
Ah, I have to wait. Go up here. Hopefully I'm going the right way or else I'm fucked. We only had two minutes left. Alright, there she is. Found her. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. What the hell? This one like badass gun. Shields down. That guy over there. Shoot him. Ah <laughs> oh, damn it! I missed every single shot. Not my. I have to wait for my gun to not overheat. There we go. Where's Tally at? Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. All right. <laughs> Well, that went pretty well. Um, <laughs> didn't went pretty well for You're Fist, not though. My life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Huh. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Huh. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. 
The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Well, that's pretty good reason. The entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. You're not ready for this. Join us. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. I better. Jason and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alrighty. Well, gonna continue on with Rex and Garrus. Although we already have Tally with us, we could add Tally to our squad, but I already have Rex and Garrus because I like them better than Tally. To make it all the way up to the stairs. I'll shoot you guys. Come on. <laughs> Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. <clears throat> Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Um, it's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Wait, holding this back, I'm ready. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. 
Everybody's happy. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Commander Shepard is going to be a Spectre. Damn right. Yeah, everybody's gonna watch. <laughs> the first human specter. I'm going to go down in history. <laughs> all right. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Specters are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire... Spectre. What happens now? <laughs> About time. I'm honored, Counselor. 